Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison here between the new OnePlus 5 8 gig RAM model and the iPhone 7 256 gigabyte plus model. Uh, so obviously these are like twin uh, brothers here in terms of how they look, but is the performance the same? That is the question here. Or is this one just an imitation of the iPhone? We're going to find out. Let's start them up. So both of them have been updated to their latest software and we have had a few Oxygen OS updates to fix some teething problems, shall we say, with the OnePlus 5. You can see the iPhone is already up and operational here, nearly a year old, and can still hang with the best of them, uh, whereas the, the OnePlus 5 wasn't too far behind there in terms of the uh, speed. So, as I said, I have updated both of them to the latest software. So we have iOS 11 here on the iPhone, uh, which comes with some very nice uh, new animations and looks uh, pretty fresh in many uh, different aspects. Uh, it's still missing some features that I would like to see, like manual mode on the camera, uh, which obviously you do get with the OnePlus uh, software, which looks a lot like the Pixel launch nowadays. Uh, you can, uh, I think, customise the software on OnePlus device a lot more than you can on the iPhone. So if you want your icons round or square, you can quickly do that. Uh, you can also uh, do some awesome stuff in the settings here uh, to change like the whole like uh, theme of the device. So if you don't like anything being light, you can actually go to a dark theme here completely. And then you can see this is the dark theme. Reminds me a bit of the OnePlus X in terms of the uh, you know uh, contrasty stuff. So I think on the iPhone, all you can really do here uh, is change the wallpapers. I think they have the new wallpaper for iOS 11, which is the one we've got on now. But uh, it would be nice if we had more theming options on the iPhone. You can change the size of the icons, obviously, which is nice. But let's just see how they do compare in terms of. Uh, some apps opening, so we'll just open up a few apps here and see if there's any differences. Personally, I think we've reached a point where you know the differences are so minor it's uh, hard to tell. Uh, but if you see here already, you can see the iPhone seems to be keeping up, and that is pretty incredible considering the age of the device. So let's uh, go to the weather so you can see. Uh, not so huge difference here really in terms of uh, these things calendar a little bit uh, snappy there on the right uh, we have some third party ones twitch again iPhone uh, we do have Tesla iPhone uh, we do have Boohoo whatever that is Oh, so OnePlus 5 came back there, and what else do we have? I think we have some games. Let's see the games here. So I think iOS handles the pop-ups a little bit better. You can see there's so many different pop-ups on Nugget. I hope that they get rid of those on the next version of Android, because it interferes with the experience so much. So you can see this is taking absolutely ages to load on the OnePlus 5 and we could literally go into some different games already uh, on the iPhone and the reason why I'm being harsh on the uh, OnePlus 5 is because it's near a flagship price now in terms of the cost it's no longer a budget option so you know if it's coming with a flagship price it needs to perform I'm sure you could probably get an iPhone 7 Plus 32 gig model for about the same price, so refurbished or something. So let's see here. I think that was the that was the uh, iPhone again. This time it is the OnePlus Five thing. Oh no. It's the iPhone again. So absolutely fantastic performance here from uh, the undefeated iPhone 7 Plus 256 gig model. I don't know if it's the same for you know the phones we for for the lower storage one, but maybe it is. 
we don't know. Uh, this one looks like it is going to the one plus five. Or maybe not. You see, iPhone's always got a backup plan. And it looks like it's going to beat this uh, one plus five challenger. So we are in here, as you can see. Uh, so I've got to say, you know, using the one plus five, it doesn't seem to be a massive step up in terms of the speed compared to the three T, which is actually very fast in itself. Uh, and it doesn't, uh, you know, comparing with the iPhone 7, it doesn't seem to dominate the iPhone 7 as I thought it would. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, how does the multitasking compare? We can have a look. So this is 8 gigs of RAM versus uh, 3 gigs. I don't expect there to be any problems here with opening up a billion apps on the OnePlus 5. As you can see, these basic ones nice and comparable we well, can see you know the iPhone itself absolutely perfect uh, doesn't need that much RAM and apparently the more RAM you have the uh, you know the worse the battery that's what I've heard so that's I think the reason why Apple keeps the RAM so low in some of its devices uh, so let's just try the games again straight in here on the the iPhone I'm sure I switched it then so you can see we are straight in here oh dear it feels like the OnePlus 5 had a little trip up there hopefully that was just a one off let's go to real boxing so that's better, both of them straight in there. And again, so apart from that one trip up, you can see, you know, it gets the job done in terms of the multitasking, but I think the same probably could be said of the 60 gram model, unless you open up 100 games at a time or something. Uh, I personally think they could have put the money towards like optical image stabilization and a waterproofing. But I will do a camera test, uh, like a dedicated one, to see how it does perform. Some people have been saying, you know, uh, it's not quite as good as the iPhone in terms of the performance, but we'll have to check that out. Uh, but so far, you can see in terms of the speed test, the iPhone is still, still a beast. I mean, we're on the verge of a new one and you know it can't be topped so yeah just a quick comparison here hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in the next one cheers